Welcome back there guys. Today we are going to be taking a look at Lunar Leaper for the Commodore VIC-20. But before I get started, I'm going to be using a controller that best suits this game. And we're going to be using the badass Space Age joystick to kick some Lunar Leaper ass. Back in the 1980s time frame, space games were the thing. To name a few, I like Asteroids, Space Invaders, Galaxian, and much, much more. But back in 1982, Sierra Vision Online released Lunar Leaper for the Commodore VIC-20. Not only was it released on the VIC, but it was released on the Atari 8-bit line as well as the Apple II. Since receiving the VIC, Lunar Leaper has to be my favorite so far. To start off with, it is a colorful game. Nice bright colors such as red, green, and blue. Your main objective in the game is to rescue your friends or aliens. I'm not quite sure what they are. But you have two areas that you can put them after, re after rescuing them from those damn lunar leapers. You can drop them off to the left or right end of the screen. Now you have to pay close attention to your fuel gauge. Just with any other game that has you controlling some sort of aircraft, there are fuel stations that you can replenish your fuel. While rescuing the hostages, you can shoot the leapers while you go to the other side of the screen. I normally don't shoot them, I just fly right above them to avoid them. After you complete the first part of the stage, you find yourself in the cave. Be careful and don't rush. It's not worth it because if you hit the slightest pixel, your spaceship is done for. You start off with five lives, so it's not bad. What you have to do in the cave is find this huge eye. It's made like a mini boss. Destroy it and it brings you back to the moon layout stage. Repeat the process of rescuing the hostages and killing the leapers for more points. Every level you beat, the harder it gets. I highly recommend this game to anyone who is a space game shooter. I give the colors, graphics a 10 out of 10, and the gameplay a 9 out of 10. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more reviews.